Welcome back, everybody, to 2K CW. And we got ourselves some tag team action to determine who will contend for the 2K CW Tag Team Championships at 2K CW Athon. Coming up first is the Elements, made up of Heat Stroke and Frostbite. The young tag team from AAA. Down in Albuquerque. These two guys are an absolute treat to watch. I hope you all at home enjoy them as well. A very unique team. Actually cousins to be a matter of fact. They are So they know each other very well. And speaking of which, coming out next is Smooth as Silk. Dynamite Curtis on your left, Isaac York on your right. Dynamite Curtis, an All-American from Nashville, Tennessee, and Isaac York from right here in New York. Two great collegiate athletes teaming up. So here we go. Tag team action underway here. The elements and Smooth and Silk and Dynamite Curtis out of the gate with a running forearm to Frostbite. Now Curtis sent into the corner. Frostbite. And for a hurricane run off the top rope. Modified Hurricane Rana. Browns bite with a DDT. Dynamite Curtis claim more as the powerhouse for Smooth and Silk. And the reason they are called that is, well, just natural, God-gifted ability that they are. Smooth as Silk, technically sound in the ring. And now Heat Stroke with a snap suplex with Dynamite Curtis. Quick kick to the center of the back for Dynamite Curtis. Heat Stroke looking to light things up with a little flurry of kicks, but Curtis with a front chance to reapplied. Snap Mare into a kick of his own to Heat Stroke, and now, well, I thought, yep, here we go. Curtis making the tag to Isaac York. Isaac going to work on Heat Stroke here. Of course, again, these two, the winner of this team, as well as the tag team matching our main event, Tag Made. Back to Dynamite Curtis. The winning teams in today's tag team matches will face each other for 2KCW Tag Team Championships. That, again, at 2KCW with Thon and also on that card will be an Iron Man match to determine the new 2KCW Heavyweight Champion. Frostbite catching the leg with the dragon screw. We also feature some women's action here tonight. So stay tuned for that. We'll be right after this match. Snap Mare by Dynamite Curtis. And Frostbite. With a takedown. Elevated takedown to Dynamite Curtis. Tag back in is Heat Stroke. This is great strategy for both teams. Fragment. I'm going to try that again. Frequent tags in and out. Dropkick coming up empty for Heat Stroke. And there's the arm drag for Heat Stroke. Now, both these got. Now, both stro Heat Stroke and Frostbite, they both have finishing moves in common, except for a very little variation. Cross body by Frostbite. Both men utilize a Enziguri, but again, a little variation on one or the other. Then they share a submission in common. Maybe we'll get to see it later on in this tag team match. Curtis, monkey flip out of the corner. And a 
knee drop right across the mask of Frostbite. And frostbite with an uppercut. Try to stagger Dynamite Curtis, but for a man of his size, it's going to take some time to do that. And now Smooth Silk, what are they looking for here? And assisted. Right. Isaac still trying to get some momentum building for himself in this tag team. Match standing drop kick. Right into the solar plexus. Isaac. Keeping Frostbite isolated, but Frostbite out of the corner with a sharp elbow. Taking down Isaac. Crowd here, not too, not too hot. No pun intended on Frostbite and the elements in this tag team match. Running drop kick connects to Isaac. And now here we go, tilt a whirl armbar from Frostbite. Isaac able to escape. And Isaac with a DDT. I believe he calls that the exclamation point. Yep, that was the exclamation point. And Isaac just going to work on both members of the element single-handedly. Frostbite, the man trying to get momentum building for his side. As Isaac continues to go to work. Again, keeping Frostbite isolated. Smart strategy, and there's a softball punch. And now Isaac climbing up to the top rope. You may see his second finishing maneuver. No, it's going to be his missile drop kick coming up empty. Isaac has a Second finishing maneuver that is a diving cross body that he calls LaGuardia. Now Frostbite just looking to intimidate Isaac York in the corner. Knowing that he is stuck there in a Death Valley modified Death Valley driver. Tag made. In comes Heat Stroke, isolating the right arm of Isaac and Isaac with an arm drag of his own to heat stroke and again frequent tags isolation for a team for an opposing team member and a running bulldog from Dynamite Curtis now he's looking to put away heat stroke here what's he looking for Looking for the swing. Neck breaker. He calls implosion. And cover. And smooth as silk. Will be the first ones to challenge for the 2KCW Tag Team Championships at 2KCW with Thon as we take a look at the replays between this tag match. There was a tilt world arm bar from Frostbite. Isaac immediately followed up with the exclamation point DDT. Smooth transition there. Modified Death Valley driver from Frostbite. A running Bulldog from Dynamite. And that's going to wrap it up for the elements tonight. And again, they're going to be facing the opponents. Whoever wins the tag team main event here tonight become the new tag team champions. But coming up next again is women's action. Don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dizzy Jet from Cherry Hill, New Jersey.
obviously by the by the style and name draws heavy inspiration from Joan Jett the rock and roll legend Dizzy Jet also was trained by Ali or the Bunny, but also in 2KCW history known as Cherry Bomb for a short time. As Dizzy Jet goes up against here a member of a small faction we have here at 2KCW. This is Akira Yamashita. from Kyoto, Japan. Part of a, again, a small stable we have here in 2KCW called The Awakening. We will see her stable mates in our main event. Inspired by, believe it or not, the Power Rangers, her and her stable. So Akira is representing the Pink Ranger. Personally, I don't know much about the Power Rangers. Just I know that they are a big inspiration for a lot of children around the world. Nakira. Collar and elbow tie up. Side headlock by Dizzy Jet. Off the ropes and Yamashita ducks under and Lutas press to Dizzy. Akira focusing on the left arm of Dizzy here. And an overhead kick by Dizzy will put a stop to that and also being dumped out of the top rope. Put a stop to your offense in a hurry. And of course, standard rules apply. A 10 count, ring out, count out. Back inside the ring, overhand punch. Dizzy Jet, and Dizzy is getting it rolling here. Jet continuing to light up Akira in the corner and you hear that knife edge shot, my goodness. Elbows to the center of the back of Akira. And running barrage in the corner. They say Lutha is pressed, but not quite. And now Dizzy. Looking for the grunge, as she calls it. Into the cover here on Akira Yamashita. No. Akira staying alive in this match. And Akira starting to fight back here with a quick gut punch to Dizzy. Look at the athleticism on display from Dizzy Jet. Beautiful counter. Got her up on her shoulders in a fireman's carry position. Dropped over the top rope. Floating right into the cover. I think she may have been able to stifle the breathing of Akira. And under the mask, who knows how difficult it is to breathe under one. Full face mask, I should point out. And Dizzy with a slam to Akira. Akira continuing to go to work on Dizzy here. Now Dizzy thrown over the top rope. That goes of what we saw earlier. And 
Dizzy Jet forced to be going back inside the ring, obviously. And that's Akira. Focusing on the center of Dizzy here. He's looking to choke the life out of Dizzy in the corner and a running drop kick from Dizzy Jet. Floating again right into the cover. And only a two count for Yamashita. What a big night it would be for the Awakening if Akira can pick up this win over Dizzy Jet and, and if her fellow partners can win the tag team main event. Airplane spin from Dizzy Jet and I can see why she's called Dizzy Jet because maybe she's immune to the effects of the airplane spin. I most certainly am not even just from watching. And maybe I'm wrong. Dizzy into the cover and wins it. Dizzy Jet off the airplane spin. Picking up a victory over Akira Yamashita. Big win for this young lady. As you can see that Akira's dazed and confused and a little embarrassed as she got pinned off the airplane spin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I talked about them earlier and here they are, the awakening. Akira Mata, Matsumoto on your left and Jushin Sakamoto on your right. The green and the white rangers. Matsumoto from Kyoto, Japan and Jushin from Tokyo. See if they can avenge the loss that Akira just suffered in her match against Dizzy Jet. Oh boy, they've got. Oh man, they've got a tough task at hand here in our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Buck McCoy on your left, Keith Mayfield on your right. One of the most dangerous tag teams in independent wrestling right now. Two former Canadian football players who were expelled from the league after many run-ins with the law. And even attempted a bank robbery, but it was foiled. They got the tools of the trade, and you can even see if we can get a close-up on Buck McCoy, he has a tooth missing, again from his time in the Canadian Football League. Collar and elbow tie up and a surprisingly, Akira getting the better of that exchange into the scarf hole. Northern Lights suplex from Buck McCoy. Buck and Keith have all the tools to be successful, except they'd rather take the easy way to earn victories. And Buck, as you just saw right there, took advantage of the referee blocking the view of Akira. And just hanging him up and over to dry up on the top rope. As Buck Continues to go to work here. With the submission hold on Akira. Akira able to break free. Akira. Hitting a spine buster. To Buck McCoy. 
and a jawbreaker to match. Buck missing with the splash. I thought he would have instead looked to make the tag to Keith. There's a Falcon Arrow. And again, I'm very surprised that Keith and Buck have not been dominating this match so far. And there's a knee bar from Buck. And Matsumoto. And now Matsumoto with a teardrop suplex. Beautifully done. And Matsumoto with a low drop kick to Buck McCoy. And Matsumoto got him up and he's going to hit the Dragon's Breath. Into the cover and Buck just, and I mean just, had his foot under the bottom rope to force a rope break. Buck gonna tear up on his shoulders into a backbreaker. Buck looking to hit some big move here on Akira. Looking for a not one, not two, but a trail of power bombs rolling into the cover. And Jushin able to make the tag, or not make the tag, able to break it up, and the referee is down. And I think now this would be opportune time for the Red River Connection to try to get some shots in. Zakira was looking to looked like for a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And again, just you could see it that Keith took a quick jab at Akira. And Akira with a big boot into his own corner. Into the Awakenings corner. Akira with a gut buster to Buck McCoy. And neither team has made a tag yet into this match. I would hope it would happen sooner rather than later. Sweeping the leg from Akira. Matsumoto. And he's making the tag into Jushin as Buck makes the tag to Keith Mayfield. Keith missing wildly with that running forearm. Now Jushin going to work out of the corner with the Tornado DDT. Jushin keeping Keith grounded. Now a flurry of strikes. Into the cover. And only a two count for Jushin. Drop kick right to the back of the neck. And Jushin may have been looking for a big move there, but he's not going to hit it. Knee counter into the flatliner. And now Keith wants Buck to come back in. Now into the Awakenings corner. Tag made into the drop toe hold and elbow drop. Arm trapped and just stomping right into the tricep of Keith Mayfield. And Matsumoto, the overhand right and flurry of kicks. Collar and elbow tie and you're not gonna win this one, young man. Keith into the corner, looking for a forearm or splash, coming up empty. And the back body drop from Akira. 
For as long as Keith and Buck have been in the tag team together, they're not being able to put the pieces together. Nakira looking for the Dragon's Breath this time. To Keith Mayfield into the cover. And that's going to do it. The Awakening will fade smooth as silk. A 2KCW-a-thon for the vacant tag team titles. In two weeks time, just to take a look at the replays and I'll be honest folks, this was a one-sided match and it was in the favor of Awakening. I'll be a very surprise win for Awakening. But again, these two teams just know each other so well, or at least they know their own partners, I should say. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this week's episode of 2KCW. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Make sure if you enjoyed our video, make sure to drop a like and to subscribe so you don't miss a single video, as well as check out Random Chaos Wrestling playlist. Thank you everybody so much for watching. We'll catch you right here next week.